Hey, what's going on, dudes? This is Amfrost by HD here, and I'm bringing you back with another T14 today video. And this time, it's going to be on the wither, as the wither may be coming in T14. As you can see right here in the painting, there is a painting right here of the wither, which I don't know if it's just new paintings or if the actual wither is going to be coming in here as long as new paintings. So, it's going to be pretty cool if the wither does come in here. It's like a new boss in the game. You can spawn in the overworld. All you need is three wither skulls and four soul sand, which I'll show you that in a second. And that's all it is. It's like a new boss in the game just to fight them. So, if you just want to fight the boss, you can get a nether star drop from it. If you want to fight the wither, you get a nether star drop from it, which can be used to make beacons, which will be coming down in a later up video update. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go over to the PC and show you what the wither is and what it can do. And also, by the way, before I forget to mention this, the T14 is going to be coming now for the Xbox One, Xbox 360, the PS4, and the PS3. So if the wither comes out T14, it's going to be coming out on all the consoles. So let's let you guys know that. So I'll see you over there on the PC. Okay, welcome back, guys. So we're over here on the PC now, and I'm going to show you what the wither is. So what you need to make the wither is four so sand and three wither skulls, which you can only get the wither skulls from the nether, which the, I mean, you can only get the wither skulls from wither skeletons, which they spawn only in the nether and only in near nether fortresses and in the nether fortress. So we want to do the soul sand is in the overworld or wherever you want to spawn it is put it down three at a time and then put one on top of it. So it kind of makes like a T, wait, wait, whoops, I did that wrong. It's boom, 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 boom. So it's like that. So you kind of make like a T. I did it upside down for a second. But you make a T shape format with the soul sand. And on top of the soul sand, uh, the T at the top of the T, you need to put down three with the skeletons. So when I put this down, this last with the skeleton, it's going to spawn the wither, which has three heads. As you can tell, it's a head, each of them to be a head. And what the wither does, it drops a nether star when you kill it, and the nether star can be used to make a beacon. So, that's pretty much what it is, it's just like an extra boss to get the nether star. So let's go ahead and put it down, and I'm in peaceful, my bad. As well as that, because you cannot be spawned in peaceful, so let me update it, let me, whoops, break ahead, and put it down again. There we go, as you see there's a wither now, oh that's really loud, hold on. Well that's loud for me. Uh, it's not loud for y'all. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill it. I got a sharpness 5 thing. And it also regenerates health. Let's see if we can kill it. Um, oh, and the wither does um, shoot explosive stuff at you. So if you don't, you might want to get away from your house. Go somewhere in like a cave to do it because it will shoot bombs at you. So it's running away. I should have done this in the open area. It shoots wither sword, by the way. I'm not gonna kill it because it's gonna take a while. But as you see, if you kill it, what will happen is you can you will drop a nether star. So, so as you see, that's a pretty big explosive damage it did there on one little boat. It shoots out where the skulls as like its little projectile weapon of choice thing. And when you finally kill it, you will get a nether star, which a nether star can be used for the beacon, like I've said a million times already. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you want me to make more T14 videos and you want me to keep up the work, just please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a good day, and I am out. Bye-bye.